What was my first TCT show? Come Blow Your Horn with a guy who was 20 years younger than I. <laughs> That was in 1965. You were 42 and Frank Chafin was 25. Yeah. <laughs> the first thing that I did at Civic was extremities. In 1988, when I was still in college, I found myself uh, at a new home. I have always known my entire life that I wanted to be on stage. Over at Gage Park, they had these summer programs called Creative Dramatics. That turned into my first community theater production when I got to play Tiny Tim. And then the very next year, I got to be Kurt Von Trapp for Sound of Music at Topeka Civic Theater. We were getting standing ovations every night, and I mention this because my parents would pick me up after the shows, and they said, Mark, you're getting spoiled. This is not what real life is like. This is not what real performance is. You're not, you're not always going to be getting standing ovations every time you're on stage. All of the adults, from the directors to the other actors, to the crew people and the costume people, everybody was so encouraging. Everybody was so warm. I never felt like I was being treated like a kid. I always felt like I was being treated like one of the cast. In hindsight, that was one of the most important parts of all of this. People saying, Mark, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. And I, I bought it. I bought it hook, line, and sinker. And uh, now, you know, fast forward however many years and I get to be a professional musician today. We now are enjoying between 100 and 120 shows a year. Uh, we get to travel the world and um, uh, it's been it's been absolutely amazing how it's grown, um, and I'm happy to say I um, still experience standing ovations uh, on a pretty regular basis, and it's awesome. <laughs> so my parents were wrong. <laughs> actually loved when mom was in a show. Um, she felt a little guilty, <clears throat> but we loved it because it made her so happy. And um, that is genuine. And then of course, uh, some of the daughters trailed along to the warehouse. So we loved going with you to the theater to watch rehearsals. I was not only influenced by my mom, but our whole family was involved. How old were you when you started with that group? Improv? Oh yeah, um, my, uh, my first TCT exposure... Um, Besides Willy Wonka. Well, I did Willy Wonka in the Old Father Theater when I was 12 years old. And then I was in the freshman class improv group uh, in high school. So that really got me familiar uh, with theater. And we had so much exposure to it. And I think we always really admired uh, what mom and dad were doing. And we loved seeing all the shows. We loved going to the rehearsals. It was just so amazing to watch. I will say that the most important summer is the first summer he was in Bathhouse. I feel like it made the biggest impact on it and he grew in confidence. That first summer you did Bathhouse was a game changer. He just provided me such a such a gigantic outlet, whether, whether it's just for meeting people, but also it's it's everybody who's gone through this process knows that it's this amazing form of self-expression. I certainly think it's helped me in jobs when I've had to give presentations. It's a confidence thing, I believe, and teamwork. You have to be a team player in while well, you're involved in theater as much as if you were an athlete. I always encourage people that are new to town, go over and check out Topeka Civic Theater if there's a volunteer job for you to do. Boy, you, you have an instant group of friends and family. We could be at a party, the three of us, and we would have the, all have the same friends. It is the most loving, accepting environment, I think, hands down. Theater's different in other places. You know, it's, it's possible to make friends. I always made friends wherever I, I did a show. But the way people are brought into the family creates that sense of ownership uh, because you're part of it. You don't just do your job and go home. You get to know each other. Being a community dinner theater is unique. There, there aren't those spaces available at other theaters. The physical space here lends itself to get to know your, your fellow actors, the staff, the audience members, the supporters, the board members, uh, the people who stick around after a show and visit. 
it's just much more comfortable. In March of 2018, I started to feel an intense pain in my right shoulder. It wasn't going away, and then it started to travel over to the left shoulder, and it was very intense. So I knew we needed to get to the hospital. Within eight hours, I was uh, paralyzed from the neck down. It was a, uh, a stroke of the spinal cord. It impacted my breathing, so uh, it was very difficult for me to draw a breath. And I spent three months in inpatient care. The amazing thing was how much my theater family responded to that. We were overwhelmed by the support that we received from the theater community here. It was incredible. I can't overstate the impact of that support. We never worried that uh, people cared about us and that we were part of their families. It still means something. I've never experienced anything like this in my life. I know now that I mean something to people here. That means everything. This place is magic. This place is special. You can, you can go so many places and see great performances. But this place makes magic things happen. And you're part of it. At whatever level you participate, as an audience member, as a donor, as a board member or a volunteer in any capacity, you are part of the family. TCT is a critical part of the culture and life of Topeka, Kansas. TCT makes Topeka better. To see how the theater has grown and to see all the amazing things that, it, that, that are going on there now, seeing on the walls all of the photos of all of the productions and going back and seeing the photos from all of the shows that I saw and a few of the shows that I had been in, but then 25 years more of shows that have happened since uh, is really, really special. This was a miracle. People are proud that we have it and that some of them have a chance to maybe get in and get a bite, try it out. Supporting arts education is so critically important. Um, supporting arts in general is so critically important. Art gives access to us as humans to uh, emotions that we might need to feel but might not have access to without the help of the art or the artist. To see kids who've come up through the Academy productions, to see kids who've been uh, on the stage at Helen Hawker and see that there is an etiquette and a consideration and a camaraderie uh, and a professionalism. Uh, that's pretty incredible. I, I learned so much more than just the arts by being a kid artist. I learned about professionalism even as a kid. And a lot of people say, well, professionalism, that means you're getting paid to do the work. Well, no, professionalism is a state of mind. And how important it is to learn those lessons at a young age. In hindsight, it's so easy to see all of the seeds were planted here in Topeka, uh, were nurtured here in Topeka, and uh, everything that I am today is due to what I learned as a kid at Topeka Civic Theater, and I'm, I'm so grateful. It's really cool to be able to come back home and tell all these people, thank you.